Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for Everyone. Let us analyze how to write IUPAC name for the coordination compound COnH36Cl3. There are certain rules we need to follow to write that IUPAC name of coordination compounds. The cation is named first in both positively and negatively charged coordination entities. The ligands are named in the alphabetical order before the name of the central atom. Oxidation state of the metal in cation, anion or neutral coordination entity is indicated by Roman numeral in parentheses. If the complex ion is a cation, the metal is named same as the element. So in this compound, first let us see some of the important terms. COnH3 6 is enclosed in a bracket. So this is called coordination sphere coordination sphere and then this is a central atom and then here we have that NH3 6 it is ligands and then this is counter ion according to the rule first we should write that ligands so here 6 I mean here the ligands are amine NH3. So there are six amine are present. So now we called them as hexaamine. Next cobalt central atom. They should not be, we should not leave any space between that ligands and the central atom. So cobalt. Next we should write that oxidation number. To write that oxidation number of that central atom, first we should find that charge on that central atom. Here we know that counter ion Cl3 that means 3 minus charge for the chloride ions because 3 chlorine atoms are here. So it must be since this compound is a neutral one the cobalt must carry 3 plus charge. If you look at this ligands this amine is a neutral one that means it carries that 0. So that is why that oxidation number of this Cobalt is 3 only. So that we go to write it inside that parenthesis in Roman numerals. Then after that we go to write chloride. So the IUPAC name for the compound is hexaamine cobalt 3 chloride. Thanks for watching.